Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Peace IT's session on troubleshooting networks, the wireless kind. Today we're going to talk about some common configuration issues, common symptoms of problems that might occur on your wireless network, and then some tools that you can use to troubleshoot and resolve those problems. And with that, let's begin this session. So we're going to begin by talking about some common configuration issues that you need to be aware of. We're going to begin this discussion with the SSID, the Service Set Identifier. This is the network's name. It is case sensitive, so a mismatch in the SSID will cause a no connectivity issue. Another one that commonly crops up is security type. A mismatch in the security type will prevent a connection as well. And you need to realize that your wireless access point is what establishes the security type that will be used. A mismatch in the passphrase or security key also means that you cannot connect. And these are key sensitive as well. Now let's move on to common symptoms. The first common symptom that we're going to talk about is no connectivity if it's a new device going on to the network. And the most probable cause in this case is a configuration mistake. Check your SSID, security type, and passphrase to ensure that they are correct. Now let's talk about no connectivity on a device that used to have connection. Well, in this case, the most likely cause is, well, either the WAP or the device may be the issue. You need to check if other devices can connect to the wireless network. If they can, then it's your device. If they can't, then it should be your wireless access point. Now, if your wireless device only has an APIPA address, then the most likely cause is your DHCP server. APIPA addresses only come into play when the device is set to receive its IP information from a DHCP server, and it doesn't receive it. So you need to check whichever device is being used as your DHCP server and figure out why it's not handing out addresses. Now let's talk about why you might only have local connectivity. Well, the most likely cause is your default gateway. The gateway setting may be incorrect on the device or the WAP may not be able to communicate with its default gateway. So you need to check that and that's the most probable cause for only having local connectivity. In a wireless network, intermittent connectivity is caused by the signal strength being too low for a solid connection to occur. You can adjust the placement of the wireless access point or adjust the placement of the antenna to see if you can get the signal strength up. If all else fails, you can turn up the radio frequency power on the WAP. If you have an IP conflict, then the most probable cause is an incorrect IPv4 setting. Static IPv4 addressing may result in duplicate addresses and the first device on the network wins. So while static addressing is more secure, it can create a problem for you. Now if your wireless network is experiencing slow transfer speeds, then the most likely cause is signal interference. This may be mitigated by adjusting the placement of the wireless access point, its antenna or antennas, or increasing the radio frequency power setting. You may also reduce interference by changing the channel that the wireless access point is sending on. Now, if your network is experiencing low radio frequency signal, well, then the most likely cause is, guess what, WAP placement or your RF power setting. You can adjust the placement of your WAP to increase the signal strength to your device, or you can turn up the power. If you turn up the power, one of the things that I will caution you about, the balance needs to be kept between your need for signal strength and security. If you turn up the power or adjust the WAP placement so that your signal strength goes beyond your walls, then your wireless network is a little less secure. Now let's move on to common tools. Now we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on common tools for troubleshooting a wireless network. And the main reason is, is there's not a whole lot of hardware tools for you. 
And the software utilities to troubleshoot wireless networks are the same as those that are used to troubleshoot a wired network. So you should watch that session if you need more information. Now, on the hardware side of things, you could use a wireless locator. Wireless locators are mainly used to sniff out and find rogue wireless access points, but they can also help troubleshoot wireless networks, as many of these locators can not only find the network, but they can evaluate their radio frequency strength. Now that concludes this session on troubleshooting wireless networks. We talked about common configuration issues, some common symptoms of problems in wireless networks, and then some tools that you can use to troubleshoot and fix those problems. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I'm sure we'll do some more soon.